As I said in a previous lesson, as you know, we have lots of model and component they are different in a Rhino. So when we want to select them, when there are very lots of objects, we have to filter them to select more accurate and easily. So we need something called uh, <coughs> filter selection. You can access the filter selection filter here. The selection filter in Rhino is very important because we use this engine for selecting uh, individual edge, surface, or anything in a Rhino or entire object. As you can see, the Rhino categorizes its ob its all of objects in those um, part. As I said before, it's it is a point category, curve or line, surface. Those are surface, poly surface, subdivision object. Mesh objects, uh, annotation, annotation, lights that are used to render, blocks, control point. Those are control point of any object. For example, we have in a curve for controlling our curve. Those are con con control points, and you can activate them here. I will explain you, don't worry. Those are control points you can uh, using in subdivision. For example, this, click on this and you can uh, activate its control point and modeling like that. <coughs> so those are control point, point cloud and the hatches that using an uh, architectural modeling. Okay, you can, as you, as you see, all of them are active and you can select all of them. An important thing, uh, right click to, right click here to points off, control points off. <coughs> An important part of the uh, selection filter is here, sub object. As you can see, they are enter to edge, chain comer to the edge and faces. If, if this in object is enabled <coughs> or sorry inactive you just can select entire object for example mesh poly surface mesh subdivision surface but as you can but as you know all of these options all of these objects are created from polygon edge and points when you want to select them you have to filter the selection to the sub object and if you click that, you don't need to hold Control Shift. You can directly click select uh, polygon instead of whole object. So by clicking activating this object, we are going to the component mode and you can select edge point of any object, any different object going to subdivision or going to the poly surface. Okay, you can select curves that create a poly surface those are poly surface that they are the curve and the surface include that ones here we are a mesh object include the polygon edge and point like other 3d package in cinema 4d maya 3d max <clears throat> blender and those are subdivision surface you can enter the subdivision surface modeling changing the points and anything that you want so this is the filter if you want to select just surfaces do like this <clears throat> if you want to select just surface you have to uh, inactive all of them but it's a very simple way to do that simply right click on the object that you want just select all of other objects uh, inactive and you can just click and drag with a rectangle and select all curves in a scene. As you can see like this, this curve in, in, create that surface. As you can see, you can select anything, just curves. If you want to everything go back, right click and everything goes back here. Okay, for example, if you want just to select um, surfaces, right click on a surfaces and click and drag, those are surfaces. 
right click and everything go back an interesting part about the, the for example we want to just select the curves select the curves but we do not want to bring all our sitting back to the default just we want to disable selection filter disable that and you can select anything that you want again I ignore all of the settings in it. I'll activate it. Right click to giving everything back. And now you can select it. So the selection filter is a very important engine in selection in a Rhino. You can access, access the, the filter here and down. And for example, going to the standard, you can access the selection Come in here, we, the next lesson we are going to explain all of the selection. In the selection tab, we have a filter, selection filter here. In the standard, we have, uh, we can access the selection filter here. This selection, you can select anything that you want. For example, poly surfaces, meshes, or all sitting that you can use in selection. Okay, in this lesson and the previous lesson, you learn all of these uh, Rhino objects and how to select them and how to filter them. And in the next lessons, we are going to just explain all of those sitting about the selection and you can um, understand the selection, all of the object in Rhino. And after that, we can select them, work with them easily and now after that we can go in depth all of these menus and tools hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release